Chat GPT, it is the latest and greatest technological advancement that set the internet on fire. Now, one of the biggest talkers surrounding this new artificial intelligence program is its potential impact on schools. And tonight, TCB 11's Rolly Hoyt breaks down what it is and how educators are working to stay one step ahead. So what exactly is Chat GPT? Let's start with the source. We asked the artificial intelligence program itself. Chat GPT is a conversational AI model developed by OpenAI, trained on a large corpus of text data to generate human-like responses to various prompts. For a human answer, here's Philip Huff, UA Little Rock assistant professor in cybersecurity. So Chat GPT is a large language model, and what that means is it has uh, taken the language across the internet and several linguists have come together to create artificial intelligence that is really good at understanding our language. Basically, you can ask ChatGPT questions or give it prompts, and it's been programmed to generate a response, like this, when you ask it to write an essay on the cause of the American Revolution. ChatGPT came out back in November. Since then, you may have seen concerns about students using it to cheat on school assignments, with some districts even banning it. It's a potential issue Rachel Blackwell with the Pulaski County Special School District says they're aware of. But she sees ChatGPT as an opportunity, not a threat. Academic honesty is huge, and you want to make sure that students are writing in their own voice and, and using their own thoughts. But I think at the same time, it's exciting and thinking about how can we can reutilize this or you know, take this program and create new lesson plans, create new ideas and new ways to work with students. Blackwell points out that technology is always evolving, and it's important for schools, too, as well. It's not going away. I mean, things are going to change, um, and we have to just change with it. We need to educate our students on what's out there, and um, we just need to prepare them. Huff says it's about adapting. Teachers need to find ways to shape their lessons and assignments to push students' creativity beyond what programs like ChatGPT can do. That's an adaptation we as uh, educators need to uh, provide the students, still welcome the technology, help them understand the technology, but also uh, don't, let, don't let it serve as a, a replacement for their critical thinking skills. Another important thing to keep in mind, training educators how to properly utilize the technology. We just have to really think about how we can, what are the benefits and the positives of this and how we can train our teachers and just make sure that they feel prepared uh, in a world that's going to be changing. As far as cheating goes, even ChatGPT is quick to point out that students shouldn't do it. No, cheating and school goes against the principles of academic integrity and honesty. Additionally, using a language model like ChatGPT to complete assignments or take tests undermines the purpose of education, which is to learn and develop critical thinking skills. In Little Rock, Rolly Hoyt, THV 11 News. Now, one other thing to point out about ChatGPT, it's free to use online. And when it comes to training educators, PCSSD says plans are already in the works to do it this summer. 